Hey guys, and welcome back to our third episode of our Platinum... Oh, God. Uh, one sec. Mm, my, right. Third episode of our Randomised Platinum Medlock. And off camera, I just battled a couple of these trains along here. Got two items. What did I get? In the bag. And I've already spent two hours and about ten minutes. Oh wait, did I not get the items? What? I thought I got the items. Were the Oh yeah, one was a berry juice and one was a dire hit. So yeah. So today we're hopefully gonna be getting our first gym badge and we're gonna get an encounter in this cave. And we're gonna get an encounter Oh oh no, never mind. This guy's got second ideas. Or second thoughts, it should be. Still. And I believe this is the guy that gives you rock smash. Yeah, this won't be randomised. Well, I mean, the Pokemon, but people who can earn, um, learn it will be randomised. But, um, yeah. I don't really want to teach it to any of my two currently. Oh, for, uh, not on, I'm currently not on the speed ball. So, I, can't, I, need, I need to get an encounter in this cave. As you've got two Pokemon. What? What are you doing with a Moltre? Moltres. Uh, die. Um, and did you know that Moltres, that does and Articuno are rip-offs of Spanish 1, 2, and 3? Moltres is 3. Articuno is 1. And Zapdos is 2, because you know Dos Tres. And I'm going to try and keep my mouse off the screen this time. I kind of found that a little bit annoying. But, I don't know. And as you can see, Mirage is actually leveling up hella fast. And a combi. Just die. I mean, I don't know if this will kill because honestly, Togetic ain't the greatest of physical attackers. Never mind, it's dead. Saying that, yeah, I am nine levels above it. And this thing levels up hella fast. I'm already level 16, and the ace of the first gym. I'm pretty sure he's only 14, and it would be really nice there, finally, right, and our first encounter is... Whoa! Oh! I love Heart Crow. Yo, go to sleep. I need to catch this thing, and I need to get nicknames. Gyro Ball? Oh no! Please don't. Oh, well, obviously I'm not very fast, so we're just going to use gravity real fast. Okay. Just so we don't have to waste a turn of Pokeball. Iron Head? Ooh, this thing's got, got some pretty sick moves. And if it has a sick ability as well, this will be sick. Right. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this thing. Oh, Haunch Crow, don't be like this, please. Please don't be like this. I've got 10 Pokeballs and I want to catch you. No! Oh, really? Don't flinch me to death, I can't heal. Right, I'm going to put it to sleep and so far it's had Gyro Ball and Iron Head. Never mind, it's got Thunderball. Oh no! Oh no. Oh my god, that none. Alright, because we can't heal, we're gonna go out into Sacred. Because Sacred has Lightning Rod. I don't even know if that works, because. Alright, he's gonna Thunderball, obviously, no. Alright, Lightning Rod does not work. Alright, so now you're gonna go to sleep. So Sacred can take pretty much any hit. So. Hopefully it's gonna stay in. So I can't damage this thing because it um, wake up stuff is neutral, so I can't even damage it. And I'm pretty sure an outrage will kill it. I've got yawn gravity. Yeah, I've got two dragon type moves. Come on, Hunter. One. Never. No. You're level five under sleep. Really? That's like the second time you woke it up. Oh. I'm. I'm at. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. 
Stay in the ball. No. Die roll ball, mate. It's fine. I have a minor speed nature. Yeah, I did two points of damage. Match How many Pokeballs? I've got eight Pokeballs left. I will use all of them on this Honchro. I'll be really ashamed if I can't get this Haunch Crow. Haunch Crow! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back out into Togetic, put this thing to sleep, and hopefully catch it. What? Oh no! Oh no! Marge, please eat this up. Right. Don't do tons, but it does a bit. And I'm not risking anyone's death for this haunch crow. That's why if he gets a crit, no. Uh, what a catch it in. Right, I'll pause it, and I'll be back if I catch it. I will put. I'll. Pu Pause it on an unawkward moment. When you, right. And me being the dumb idiot I am, while spamming A to get out of this, out of the mode, I accidentally click run. I don't think I was catching that. It just wouldn't stay in. Uh, I'm not going to do redo the episode, because that's cheating. Really? Right, let's speed this bit up. This bit is pointless. Oh, thank you. Um, but I believe we can get another encounter. Why did it go really slow? Nah, it's almost being a mess. Alright. Right, so let's head down. Well, I think first we're gonna go to the Pokemart, which I don't know where it is in this city or town. One of them. Nice up here. I'm hoping that we have some money. Oh, that's great. Nice, nice sell anything. That's it. I'm not gonna sell that. Oh, I'll sell that for 150. I'll take that for 150. Because any key, can I can I sell that? Oh, I'm gonna sell that. Oh, I'll take that. So it's six more. And that's the thing, I'm never going to need them items. Because I don't really ever use dire hits. Wait, yeah, we got to go to our of Mine anyway, kind of say the name. Right, so once this switches, right, there's a couple of items over here. I believe there's one up here. Um, nope, never mind. I know there's one over here somewhere. I know, I, I remember. Okay, no, it's just this guy. Oh, yeah. I don't need, well, I'll sell it. Things given by trainers don't really seem to be randomized. But, that idea don't really bother me too much. I wonder if the two, oh, oh, there's two items over here. Oh, whoops. Okay, an inset plate. So it's yep. Yeah. Power of defend giants infusing this plate. So I say Arceus. An oval stone. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, 
Oh, no, not Pokemon. Back. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna... Is it Clefable? I cannot remember for the life of me. I've never used an Ultra Stone, I'll be honest. Right, so, we are going to go get our first encounter in this mine. Oh, never mind, we have an item, depending on whether we get an encounter. What is up with all the plates that we're getting? Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Okay, that's the Alga Palkia. And then the... What, what the that being like, ah, just creating it, creating them. Right, so this is Arbor of Mine. And our first encounter is... Ugh. And it ain't dupes. If this thing takes more than five Pokeballs, I ain't catching it. Oh, there's the drill back, that's not bad. If stats from randomizer won't mind, but that's just too complicated. It's, it's not complicated to do, but it's just annoying. I know. And of course, he's just going to break right out. And then slash. Well, if anyone, if anything, this can be our HM slave. If you can learn the HMs. I wish Haunt Roger said that. And there's only one name for a Zubat. Like, there's only one name for an Entei. Come on. Yep. And we're going to name... Fatbat. Nice and OCD. Fatbat. As we're going to head deeper and deeper down into the cave. Okay, that's not too bad though. Um, I'm not bothered. I mean, I know um, all the big barrel is powerful, but still. It's not a massive loss. Yeah, I'd be mad if it gets something really good. Okay, alright. Let's do that. That's fine. So we're, of course, completely over leveled for this place, but there's an item if you go around this way, so. I know these battle you, I believe. I think these battle you, anyway. Oh, well, I would have loved to use a lantern. No, you never see a lantern in a let's play. No. So, oh, there's an item here. It's good. Why did you ever see a gold dog used in a let's play? So obviously Zubat's asleep, so can't really use him either. A Cassid Berry. I will never use that. And here we go about this guy using Rock Smash. Just don't even say what his name is, just walks off. How rude. So it looks like I didn't really lose out on too much in this cave. I mean, Fat Mat isn't bad. I'll go check him out soon. Get the PC, because we do need to heal up. What? What's up with all the berries? Got loads of berries. Well, got two. Still, I'm not really had exactly thousands of items. So, we're just gonna heal, check Zubat out, and then we're going to either deposit him, or if I want him on the team, I will mm, keep him, obviously. And then we're gonna try and take on the gym. Now, I'm not sure if the gym is completely randomised, as in, like, anything, or it'll be, if it'll be randomised in types. So, like, all steel. I think I might have just randomised it completely. I'll probably come down and do some grinding after we've done the first gym to get them all up to level 20. Because I i really don't want to lose any. Especially Sacred, because Sacred's our starter. 
So honestly, back in Arbor City, I can't say it, so no, excuse my pronunciation. And we're gonna go heal up. I do use the speed up button for this, by the way. Just because it's like, why does the healing take so long? It's like saving. Unnecessarily long. Move Pokemon. Right, let's have a look. We have Walmart, you're chilling here. And we have Fat Bat. Nope, nope, cancel. It has nice and mild nature. Snow cloak, not great. And he has drill pack and slash. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave him here. Because he's not exactly the greatest. Like I think we got quite lucky with the starter in first encounter. I mean I wouldn't mind him again you. Still. Right, I'm gonna battle the trainers in this gym, I think. Because they only have one each. And I want to see if it's completely randomized. And don't matter, because I'll just drink them all. Right. So he has a psychic flying type, and I don't think now he has very good physical defense on so our rage. Honestly, if we came into a steel type, a steel ghost type, which I don't know if there is any in this gen. Oh my god, crap on Wow, power. So I see these Aegis slash steel ghosts. If we came across a steel ghost type, we'd kind of be screwed. Because I can't hit it. Well, I can with Draco, but it's not exactly going to do a lot. Once it's like a right period of steel type with those booty, booty, booty special defenses. Alright, so let's have a look. Okay, it's completely randomized. Um, yeah. So this, this thing might not even have a physical move. Um, an ice type move. Sorry. I'm just gonna drink out. I'm prob I'm gonna have to switch out or go for an outrage. It's nice having a physical and special attack because I'm pretty sure physical and special split happened in Gen 3 and we're in Gen 4. So, Mirage, all the weight level 17. I really want to learn something. What? Where did you get me? Well, anyway, I want to see what this thing's gonna do. Shaming? What? What kind of shaman is this? Oh my god, what's that? Oh no. Kill this thing, please. At least do half. No, that does nothing. Oh god. I'm gonna have to switch out. Oh my, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out. I'm gonna have to hold for Draco kills. This shaman. Like, that does relatively nothing, and he didn't get the special D drop. Sorry about that. Um. Anyway, the, that Draco killed. Um. Sacred leveled up, which is great. And oh, okay. I'm gonna. I, I'm taking full preparations. And from here, I believe you need to head up from Jubilife once we finish this. To get up to Eater. No, not Turner. Uh, I don't know the name. It's either, you have to... I know at some point we have to go... I think we turn to the next gym badge. But you have to go to Flower Town. Um, can't remember which name. I'm Rock, the gym leader. Yay. Nice search was telling me your name this time. And I'm really debating on whether to use the Sooth Bell on Thingy. On Sacred. And he has a licky licky. Alright. 
there you go. Really? Check off. Oh, this better not happen. I swear to God. Oh, oh, sorry, wrong move. I thought it was a um, trapped. Never mind. Oh. Really, that didn't kill. Oh, oh God. Don't run to the nothing. We're gonna drink. Really? I don't get to heal. Why should you? Uh, I'm gonna have to switch out. Why is he just Drake up? Get a crit. Please crit. Right, there, I'm gonna do nothing. And I have a super effective move on the sacred. There's no point taking unnecessary damage. That's just a lick a lick it. I like it. Anyone get a competitive set on that? Same. I know you don't actually get it. So we are gonna kill the licky licky. And I just realized, wow, sacred is. On par. I'm gonna need to grind. That's all right. Oh, wait. Is this guy mono normal? Oh my God, that's wrong. Oh no! Wow, we're trading wake up slaps. Oh, that does too much. Hello. What? Okay, I don't know if I can live another one of them. I have to go out into And I don't really want to go for an outrage. Okay, you're gonna post that. I'm not gonna outrage him either. Really? I want to use that gonna do. Okay. Mirage is fine. So hopefully this Draco is going to kill this Ursa Ryan. Alright, yeah, that's right, that's dead. That's fine. And we are nearly a level 18 Mirage. And we have a Skunk Tank. I'm gonna have to stay in. I can't. Do you gonna move? I... No, I'm on level. I can't switch out. I'm gonna have to just. Outrage. Okay, I'm kind of wishing to switch out. Shouldn't be too much. Right, that's fine. And hopefully, Outrage is a 2 hit KO. When do Togget. Let me see if my head is charged. <sighs> okay, he's dead. Okay. Oh, mm. What? Knock off! What's this one got a competitive play? Oh, now my Draco's not gonna get. Oh, it's fucking Draco. I keep saying Draco. Outrage. Oh, what douchebag. Well, anyway, we, uh, we've got this. So, we've t successfully taken on the first gym without losing anyone. I may be just slightly over leveled. I mean, I do have a level 18. Nearly level 19. 16.80 for that. Right. Why is it embarrassing? Just getting beat. Well, I think. Right. He just said who doesn't have a single gym badge. But no trainer from this point has a single gym badge. So yeah. So every person that has eight gym badges beat him. And so does he just say that to every trainer? Stealth rock. Does it is it actually stealth rock in the game? Swagger. I got TM87. No. Right, so we're not we're not gonna be Ain't no hats for us. And we are going to save. So I think we're just gonna deal with the business in Jubilife and then I don't know, I don't know if to make this episode longer. I'm kinda of feeling it, so I make this might make this episode a tad bit longer. And the seven hour saving. Still saving. And finally, Jesus Christ. Alright, now. Now we're just gonna go heal up. Sacred kinda got. Alright, I'm gonna lead with Sacred. Actually, I'm gonna pause, do a quick little off screen grinding. 
And I'll catch up with you guys later. On the pod. Wait. Three, two, one. Pod. Okay, never mind. We're not going to grind because I need to get an encounter in this first set of grass. And I'm going to... No, oh, never mind. I'm just going to say I'm going to buy some Pokeballs. That species. Species cause. If you don't know what species cause is, if you've already caught Pokemon that's in that evolutionary line, then it can't... Oh, wait. Still using the speed up one. So, I need to go buy some Pokeballs with the money I got from that guy. Rock the gym leader. Bye. Uh, do you sell super ball, um, great balls yet? No. So, I'm just going to buy 10 of them. Get a nice and premier ball. Right, so... Yeah, right. Hopefully we can get a decent encounter on this, this route. And I did save in the gym. I don't know if I did that on camera. I think I did that on camera. Yeah, I did. Never mind. Forget that. So, our first encounter is... Why? Oh, God's it. It's got a mold breaker. Um, go out into this thing. Uh, go out into Togetic. God damn it! What's up with these routes? Just give me batting. It's a magnet bomb. It's not too bad. Well, this is not okay. It did one HP. Well, it has extreme speed. It'd be a nice revenge killer if anything dies. Which I'm hoping to keep to a very minimum. So once again, if I, if it doesn't catch within the first five Pokeballs, then I'm not going to use it. And I have no clue nickname for a Cricketop. Well, okay, I'm going to go look up a nickname for a Cricketop. Okay, I can't really find any ones that I like. I don't know what to call this thing. I'm just going to call you... Grasshopper fit. No, no, wait. Okay, I'm going to spell it 1P. Grasshopper. We have Grasshopper the Cricketer. Oh, no, I. Oh, I want to mind you to Paul. No, oh, I like Paul. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how good a cricket shot is because currently we're gonna have a Togekiss and an Entei. Why is it always berries? And then another fat bat. Um, I'm actually just gonna. Oh, no, never mind. It was this quad signs. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are going to be quad I know Gold Buy is in Crobat, but. Is Crobat in this? Yeah, because Cyrus has one normally at the end, I think. Well, let's go check out this guy, and then I'm gonna grind. Um, Sacred up. Sacred up. And just instead of having to go to the Poke Center, uh, I'm just gonna. If you don't know, I did that. It's because it, it just heals them in there. And put them in. So we have Grasshopper the Cricket Shot. And let's check. Alright, so it is Lax. I'm not sure what that is. Mold Breaker, it has Magnet Bomb and Extreme Feed. I mean, I'll have to think about it because I've never used a Cricketot whatsoever. When I actually played Platinum, all I did was kill them. It's as simple as that. Alright, so I'm going to grind and I'll catch you guys later. I could have got an Electabuzz. On the first encounter I have of grinding, it's an Electabuzz. Um... I went down to the bottom of where... What's it called? Where you go to get into Obra City, I you talk Rock Smash to Togetic. And there's a goddamn Rayquaza. And because it's not a new area, I can't catch it.
And I hope I can get away. I'm gonna say grinding Entei here. Look at all the power! I found a bag on and all that down here. Power down here is unreal. Are you really? You mean to make, make me wake and waste another wake up slot? One away. I'm gonna get sacred to about level seventeen or eighteen, I think. And unless I see any other really, really powerful Pokemon, I doubt I'll be catching up with you guys. Sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to end end, uh, end the episode here. But. Um, if we just got onto bag real fast. Nope, wait. Oh, I actually got ice balls at TM. Got down here. And, nope, wait, wait. Wrong Pokemon. Sacred learn to do move. Rob Blast! So I can actually kill the Rayquazas. Which is nice. They give me like 300 XP. But yeah, they'll be all grinded up by next episode. I'll probably do them a bit higher, get them to about level 20. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, and see you next time.